Alright, so first thing we do here is put our safety block back in. And the easiest way to do this is we find our little retention spring here with a little plunger on it. <coughs> and it fits down in that little hole down in there. Get some light for you guys. So, I don't know if it's an easy way to get it in there, but I'll just drop it in and my little awl here and look like I can wiggle it in place. There we go. So then the red band goes on the left side, so I'll just start it here. And let's see. If you got a nice punch like this, or a drift, you can should be able to push that guy down. to get it started. Sorry, I know you guys probably can't see all that great. Get it started. And then we can just push it through. And it should go all the way. Okay, there we go. So that guy's in place. <coughs> Alright, so here's our trigger piece. And here's our two sear pieces. So this trigger guy goes in there like that, under pin here, pop that guy in, and then you see there's a little <clears throat> spot there for the spring that correlates with this guy, which fits in there like that. So then, when it's in there, this, sorry, this little guy here catches on there. So, put that guy in. And this <coughs> pin also goes through our trigger housing right here. So, um, put our spring in there. Now let me put it in the bottom here first. This is a little tricky part of getting this guy in there. So, I'm just going to hold it like that. And then I should be able to push it down in here. And I'm going to hold it in the front here. <coughs> and while I grab my trigger spring here that goes in there and I can slide our trigger backwards that goes up on there and then if you got a third hand it works great but um, these little awls work great for lining this stuff up So now it's all in place, and all I gotta do is find my correct pin and push that old. push my awl out. And then you can use this awl to kinda work that around it. Line your pin up. I just plug that it here. And of course, if you do like I just did, you put the wrong pin in and then start over. That's easy enough. So here's the right pin. So all we can do is push the old pin out with the new pin. There we go. So there's our trigger assembly in. Alright, so now we've got our trigger in. Next, what we can do is start putting um, some of the internals in. Let me just find my... Uh, these two pieces fit on there. So this is your hammer. And we'll just set this off the side for a second. And your spring. We'll set that there for now. Alright. <clears throat> so here's our bolt release, and that fits right there. And in the side of the gun, it fits 
on the left side here. And then we got our magazine release that just fits up in there like that. And we gotta do all three of these at the same time. So <clears throat> before we put that in there, we're gonna put this in. And this spring is what tensions this guy. So there, see our our bolt caught on our little latch there, and then and then we'll slide our our uh, <clears throat> this guy in the bolt release. So let's find the right pin here. That looks about right. that through. Okay, so we got all that together. We got spring tension there, that's good. Okay. And a couple more things left here. <coughs> we got this guy, which is our extractor. And we <coughs> so that's there and while that's there we're gonna this is how I do it. Actually, we'll put this in first. <clears throat> so this is our hammer. And the hammer, the little curved end, will go down. And then, of course, this is the hammer side. It's usually worn. And the curved side here is the back side. So and that goes in this <clears throat> hole here. So... Put it in kind of sideways there. Pull the trigger back a little bit. And our big pin. There we go. So that's in place. Then our last pin is gonna... We're gonna hold this spring right here down with this pin. So we'll get it in there. You can just start it a little bit, and then you can usually take this spring. And flip it over on the side there. So there are no more springs in there. And then we go to this side. Get it through our little hole there. Push our bolt stop up, and then that'll slide that the pin the rest of the way through. So now all that's left. <coughs> this guy in there and that's our hammer spring so that's it that's how to put uh, <clears throat> the trigger assembly on a Ruger 1022 back together test our safety it works put it off works When you're putting these things back together, you don't really need to oil anything in the trigger assembly up here all that much. Um, <clears throat> I mean, if you wanted to put a little bit of oil on this hammer, that pin where the hammer goes, that's okay. Um, other than that, I mean, these things work pretty good when they're all dry, and they don't really need to be uh, all oiled down. So there we go. There's our <coughs> hammer assembly. Um, if you think this is helpful, please subscribe, like it, comment, let me know what you think, and share it with anybody you think might be helpful. So, until next time, take it easy, go out shooting, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks.